Big food. I got cheese bread. I got potato balls. I got oh, empanadas. So I got, oh, I got Lucy the Lichi. Okay. We're gonna open it so we can look at it and then put it in the fridge. Today, bake at home. It's baked portos from our own oven. Um, basically, portos, uh, if you don't know what portos is, they're a pretty popular uh, bakery and food chain in the Southern California area. We're in Northern California. So what they did was they came up with this bake at home. You order it online, they send you uh, unbaked goods, and then you bake it at home so that you're, you can have your own portos at home. So basically, I ordered it, I opened it, and on the side it has what I ordered. It's um, cheese rolls, I got one dozen, dosa de leche, besito cookies, those little tiny ones. It comes with 15 uh, potato balls, the regular type, and then seafood potato balls. I never tried those, so I wanted to try them. All right, so um, they have their own special box, you know, that they use for, for packing it. Uh, they put in it, they put this Pro-Pack, so they use this Pro-Pack, right? It's a, um, you know, Zane, it's, um, it's kind of uh, dry ice, so they, they, they take this, so they put this dry ice in here, and uh, I don't know how they dispose of dry ice, <laughs> but it, you think it, it's, it's a, um, you're not supposed to touch it without gloves, like, you know, the thick gloves, because you're gonna get a, a freezer burn, but it should evaporate by itself, you know, it's just carbon dioxide, it's a dry ice. Uh, anyway, it's still, you can see the see block of ice here. So now, um, the Portos, ooh, look at that, ooh. So this Portos comes with um, this, these are the instructions, and I don't know what else is in here, but I think these are baking sheets, actually. So these are the baking sheets right here. You have to put them on your pan, on your tray to bake them on. Um, I think that's what they, they say to you. So these are the instruction cards for Porto's Bake at Home. Seafood potato ball, it tells you the instructions, your steps, right? Step one to preheat and all that. So we can actually bake these and then you guys can see what to do when we bake them, right? Um, so then we also have the regular potato balls, regular potato balls there. And then you also have the dulce de leche besitos and finally the cheese rolls. So the cheese rolls, look at them, uh, they come like this where it's like uh, unbaked. The other ones look kind of like they're kind of baked already because you know they have to cook it first. Um, but the cheese rolls, you know, they're unbaked and then they become golden after you bake them. So that's that and then you know they give us these sheets, the sheets to put on our tray so that you can um, you can bake it on that on that. So I'm gonna put this on side here. They provided everything. They provided everything that we need. That way we can do it ourselves at home. So if you were to actually feel these, it's pretty frozen. <laughs> it's pretty frozen. These are the dulce de leche uh, bake at homes. So if you take a look at them here, let's, let's uh, show it. These are the besitos before they're cooked. Right? They look like dough. Okay, that's. A, there you go, Zane. You can see the besitos right there. These are cheese rolls. They have um, a best if used by date of June 11. So you gotta make them before June 11. So these are cheese rolls. Look at the cheese rolls, Zane. We're gonna we're gonna bake it. We're gonna bake it. You're gonna help us bake it, okay? So we can actually keep these in the freezer to keep them cold. Yeah, keep frozen, and then you have to cook it before eating, obviously. So, so that's that's their that's basically Porto's way of making it so that it's fresh, so it's fresh out the oven because that's how they like to serve their food, right? Fresh out the oven. Um, so here's let's get this out. This is the seafood potato ball, and let's get a shot of that. Here we go. Those are seafood potato balls. So look how actually substantial they are. There's there's twelve of them in here. Four, eight, and then twelve underneath. These are the seafood potato balls. So I'm not actually sure what's in there. I think there are uh, there's calamari and shrimp. Calamari and shrimp. Those are the and scallop. No fish. Uh, no, it doesn't say any fish in here. 
But yeah, calamari and shrimp and, and scallops. That's what they put in the seafood potato bowl. And the regular potato bowl has um, ground beef. So we'll take a look at that. What's really neat is they have the, the history of Porto's in the back. It's pretty cool. And then the final one is our standard potato balls. Standard potato balls. Look at that. Look at the goodness. It looks so good. Just gotta heat it up in the oven, and they're already ready to go. So now that the, um, when I ordered it, you can you have to order a minimum of four boxes. <laughs> That's the reason why I got four boxes here, because they they require a minimum of at least four, and they fit four into this size container. This size container. Are you right? I'm not four sure. What the, oh, so this is a 15 3 8 by 13 3 8 by 12 and a four box medium box that they're using, right? So you know the shipping obviously is gonna cost more if you get more that can than can fit in this box. So the the four right fits in this box, but if you're to get eight, say eight, they'll have to send you two boxes, and that's gonna you know cost obviously cost more. We're gonna put these in the freezer for now. Join us when we start baking it. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna we're gonna bake it. Whoa! I'm gonna bake it now. Yay! I'm gonna bake it now. Yep. All right, so now it's time to bake the portos. So here we go. We're gonna bake it this this right here. So we're, start, we're starting with the cheese rolls. These are the cheese rolls, and they have this little card that tells us what to do. It came with the it came with this parchment paper as well. We're gonna do that. Here's a shot of the cheese rolls. So we've got a dozen. I don't know if we can fit a dozen in here. We'll, we'll try though. So let's uh, let's do it. So step one: preheat the oven to 400 degrees. While the oven is preheating, stack two baking sheets, one on top of the other, which is what I did right here, and then place provided parchment paper on top of the baking sheet. Then place the pastries on parchment paper. Make sure the pastries have at least a half inch of space between each piece to bake evenly. Then step two is to put the two baking sheets with the cheese rolls on it in the middle of the oven. Bake pastries 20 to 30 minutes in a conventional oven. If you have a convection oven, use it 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, or until golden brown. Because all ovens vary, check the pastries five minutes before the recommended baking time. And when the pastries are done, remove them from the oven, let them cool down, and then they have to cool before you enjoy, which takes about 15 minutes since the inside takes longer to cool. All right, let's take it out of the oven. It should be ready off. All right, here we go. It is. Yeah. Look at the coloring on that. Looks good. It's golden brown. Cheese rolls. So we're gonna let it cool for 15 minutes and then uh, take it off, take it off of here, and it should be ready to go. Today we got uh, Porto's Bake at Home. Dulce de leche besitos. Besito means kiss. There's 15 of them. Take a look at these bad boys. All right, so the instructions are similar. So we put the parchment paper down. Porto sent it to us. I have to preheat the oven to 350, but I think it's still warm. And then I'm gonna take these guys, place them on here. It says at least half an inch of space between each. So here we go. Just like the cheese roll. Just like the cheese roll. So we're gonna bake this for 20 to 25 minutes. Then you have to let it uh, cool. Okay. Then it's done. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Time to take this out the oven. Ooh. We're supposed to put some powdered sugar on them, but we don't have any, so. <laughs> okay, let it. I'm gonna let it cool down. To bake the potato balls. There are two different flavors. It's regular, and then this is seafood. Can tell that it's different. <laughs> yeah, the colors. Mm -hmm. This has like. We're gonna bake some potato balls. So I'm gonna preheat the oven. 
And then we're going to cook it for 30 minutes. Thanks for watching this uh, Porto's Bake at Home video. Yeah, stay tuned for more and hope you like our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. See ya!